What's good with it? What's good with it? It's time for the litmus test. How's everybody doing? I am EICTC, your editor in chief, Trent Clark. And we're going to listen to some music today. I got a special guest on the way. That is Dixon. He's got one of those Barney Rubble cars, you know, where you actually have to put the feet down, you know, so he's uh, he's moving a little methodically uh, right now. But yeah, um, shout out to Crooked Eye, shout out to Coach Adil, shout out to everybody who's tuned in earlier and caught us on the DX Live earlier today. Um, yeah, so we're loading up submissions. Keep submit. Everybody asking, how do you submit? It's pretty simple. You can either email lit at hiphopdx.com, tweet us with the hashtag litness test with your song, and of course, like always, there's rules to this thing here. 90 days, 90 seconds. It is how it sounds. Your song can't be older than 90 days. You know, we don't want... You know, any archaic tracks, you know, we don't want your track that won your uh, high school talent show two years ago. You know, we're, you know, looking to push forward with the culture just like uh, Hip Hop DX, the company itself. So can't be older than 90 days, you know, and uh, 90 seconds. You get 90 seconds to make an impression. You know, we've had several A&Rs over here uh, gauging from their responses. We're very, very generous with the 90 seconds. Uh, just make sure if you have... Uh, a song, you know, a video that, you know, might have a lengthy outro or intro. Uh, make sure you give us the timestamp when you submit of where to submit. Uh, let's get into some comments. How's everybody doing today? It is Christmas. I got my Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg sent me this. My big uncle. Merry Christmas. Ugly Christmas sweater. What up? Uh, Jonas Fernandez. AJ Dom Ohio. Doom Ohio. It's your first time to let this test? It can't be. I've been doing this for over a year. What up, Lens22 from New Zealand? How's everybody doing? You guys celebrate New Zealand, uh, Christmas in New Zealand? Let us know. Give us some feedback. How's everybody doing? Where'd you tank clan at? Uh, shout out to everybody. Shout out to uh, KOGT Records. He said 3 2 uh, is a high rating for that Eminem. Um, yeah, so. Good. We just got some breaking news. There might be a break too. You know, we just uh, talked to Will Smith. Uh, check that out on Hip Hop DX. Uh, and you know, Will Smith, Big Willie Smith is popping. Bright will be in Netflix tomorrow. And Will Smith just joined Instagram. And we got a clip of that. Roll the clip, James. JT, thanks a lot, man, for for the post. And, uh, you know, the, the, the brief education about uh, uh, Instagram, man, because this is my first day, so I'm appreciating the, the, the hookup. But, man, I know what Throwback Thursday is. I'm not, like, I ain't been in a hole, you know. Oh, and I heard you doing the, the, uh, the, the Super Bowl, so I want that to help you out. Like, just the things to avoid at the Super Bowl is, like, just, like, avoid that. Avoid that. <laughs> I'm stupid. You the man, I love you. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Oh, hello there. I didn't see you there. Got Mr. Thaddeus Dixon in the building. Clap it up for yourself. He will be Yes, he's returning to the litmus test to really gauge the accuracy of uh the quality of y'all's uh Submitted tracks. I'm excited. I need to hear some good music. All right, up, all right. Up. We had some uh, good submissions over the past couple of weeks. Okay. You know, D1, uh, Erica Coulter. They, you know, they all, you know, sat in and you're uh, since you last been. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna keep it pushing. Yeah. What, what's been up to? What's going on for the holidays? I'm gonna be in LA, man, working. I'm. I, I always like to take the last two weeks to like, you know, refocus and plan my like first three months, and you know what I mean. I always have like a lot of stuff going on at the top of the year, so. I'm gonna be in LA. I'm from you know Detroit. I'm not going back to Detroit, yeah, so I'm gonna blame here. You. you say what? I said I don't blame. You. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh yeah, well, yeah. yeah Ohio State Michigan game. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Ohio State Michigan game uh, about a month ago. All right, we. I mean basketball is coming up. No one watches. Uh, no one watches what? Big Ten basketball. What? Any Big Ten basketball fans out there? Mm, Absolutely. So. Yeah, this is not good. What's in the cup today? Is it? It's not. I mean, it's 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 clear, but it's not tequila. I'm on that water <laughs> shit right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? If we get if we get lit, 
What happened to me? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> if we get lit. So I told everybody the rules. You know, I gave everybody a rundown. Okay. Um, yeah. So what are you looking forward to? Uh, give, give everybody a back, a be, if they didn't tune in last time, give us a, be, a brief background, a bio mm-hmm. on how, you know, how you came up to be a, uh, you know, mm. all-star producer and hey, get your own studio in L.A. Uh, which you haven't been to yet. Uh, I've been working. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going to make you come, bro. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm from Detroit. You know, uh, I work with a lot of, you know, people in the industry. I've been in L.A. for a few years. You know, I've been on tour with Tour with a lot of people, like playing drums and music direction, putting their bands together, and you know everybody who I've worked with uh, this year. I'm gonna go too far back from naming a whole bunch of names, but just this year is um, Khalid, Bryson Tiller, um, Brent Fias, who I'm about to start working with, and he has like a tour and stuff coming up next year. It's gonna be a really good year for him, and. Uh, yeah, like, oh, one of my records that I produced for Megan Trainer. I mean, I know there's Hip Hop DX, right, right. but I'm sure there's a couple people who might know who Hip- Megan Trainer is. Record I did for her just went platinum, so I'm excited about that. And got, you know, 2018 is going to be lit. It's going to be blessed for everybody. Everybody that's tuning in, this guy, me, everybody in the room. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Well, mm-hmm. Let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, you guys have the litmus test. You guys know how to submit right now, uh, and so uh, it's gonna be hopefully it's lit for Stallone and Weathers. Um, the name of the song and video is "The Feeling." Stone and Weathers, uh, Priest Priestie P- Politics and K Hill, the Stallone and Weathers EP. It's like like Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers. Did they ever do a movie together? <laughs> I get what you guys are doing with. Okay. Let's see how hard y'all's lyrics punch, though. This is the feeling, and this is the litmus test. Monster elements on deck. Roll the clip, James. Feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right, working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right, working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. Yo, old flowers on top of new graves, fairy tales of freedom taught by new slaves. My guns to keep the narrative honest, but show the flow was Ivan Drago. I spit the same type of punchlines that killed the follow And learned to shoot it backwards for the follow Ain't perfected, I just cop the laser for the style points Wake your feet up in your building, play the lobby Settle drama with the loud joints Blow the 40 in front of shorty and show her early that the muscle real Do it to your niggas for a couple mil Motherfucker stinks, get the new guy Hey yo bro, come on, come on <laughs> Get busy buddy, get some I mean, there ain't shit else to do. Look, you already put enough work in. Nah, oh, fuck that. You better get busy or we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, nah. You know what? Even better. Go get Betsy. All right, all right. Go. I got it. Let's I got go. it. I got Let's, it. Let's go. All right. I don't think that motherfucker built for this. I gotta stop that possibility from coming like vasectomy. Be smarter with this money and this weaponry, especially. Woken up the block with them bangos. I'm stopping frisk to get niggas to buy the dodge. Word to everything that's holy. Everything my father told me continues to shape and mold me. Better than whatever school has sold me. How's your partner doing? <laughs> I don't know. You How's about you? to go meet him. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Yeah, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. It's like I'm pitching on the corner with the work at night. They feeding for it cause the work is tight. Get it, then I whip it till the work is right. And serve the people with the work despite whatever you sell and shell in the chain before the danger. Familiar with the banger, got to know the peace enough to treat the peace like a stranger. Do the knowledge on the spell and then you get the meaning. Got these scars from a tussle with my inner demons. I'm wide awake but still dreaming of a time when I can sleep a little Better knowing that the family is taken care of Shotty on the dresser with the three in the quarter slug Body on the stretcher, you was dying to play the thug Rest easy, I pause enemies permanent, 718 Fly shit about it, show this used to be a daydream Squad to do it till you 
you for the money like the 18. Hopping out the black van and spraying at the mainstream. Yo, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Not sure these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Not sure these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. Feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is feeling. Stallone and Weathers, the Rocky duo. Start my procedures guest, Mr. Thaddeus Dixon. What you think? It was dope. Uh, I mean, we supposed to be paying more attention to like really the song and the record more so than like the video and the acting, right? I mean, when or they kind of like, yeah, when we, if they submit a video, they they open themselves up to critiques or criticism for the video too. For everything, okay. Uh, it was dope. The, the acting in the middle of the song kind of like threw me off because I'm like, well, maybe I'm watching a. Uh, Black Soltation film. Yeah, you know, I mean, but the the rapping, the the beat was cool. With, you know, the, that boom bap type of vibe, New York, you know, feel. So it was cool. Turned up. Kush Gully said lyrically inclined. Beta Patton said, "What's the email? The same email that's always is, Mr. Patton. Lit at hiphopdx.com. Send it up. Shout out to Natalie Crew. Um, yeah, the song was dope. Um, you know, it's it's a real, real interesting time for Boom Bap. You know, uh, yeah. we know by default, you know, when you uh, enter that realm, you know, you create a sense of nostalgia, a sense of uh, uh, belonging when it comes to hip hop culture. But at the same time, um, you know, we've moved past that now. We've moved past that in areas that the culture doesn't need to go or mm-hmm. that, that just really is so trendy that it dies out fast. But, yeah. you know, uh, trying to recreate you know, the type of music that we listen to when we're in high school isn't always the wave, so that's why the song is dope, but not incredible. Yeah. Um, you know. I heard it before. Right. And they tried to, in the name of the song, the feeling, that's what they tried to do. Um, like I say, like Ghostface told me, that shit ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. And when he said it ain't coming back, then. Right, right. Right. So, well, thank you guys. Uh, Stallone and Weathers. Preachy and Achilles Hill. Uh, next up, we got Major Green. This is live from Ray's room featuring Lena Jackson. Ray's Boom Boom Room. All right, Major Green. Where you from? Where you from? It's from North Carolina. Major Vides Volume 1 is a compilation of dope records all produced by Major Green. All right, and this is live from Ray's room, Lena Jackson. Let's get into it. It's the litmus test. Yep, steady talking about the presence of a new black caucus. Art rebranded on the canvas, brown folks was in the office, and the world couldn't stand it. We plant the seeds that birth them what they need. Oh, Jesus, this entire planet, how do they manage? Gotta get them in the middle, put riddles on life hood. Better set up at pedal and we bring middle, don't forget, so petty, but life's good. With a pop me kettle, contradiction to the letter. Keep you bitter, cause we better. Let us pray we stay this way forever. Fair weather, this loyalty rewarded with disdain. We eat the meat and leave the bones, the rest we don't entertain. Y'all either clowns or clones, joning for the fix. Explicitly listed is my existence, wishing you were in the mix. Blasting levels past acidic, crafting product for the addicts and the critics. All the same, either one can get it. Analytics will predict that I'm ridiculous. Sick with it, stick with it, do the math for your academics. This ain't a gimmick. I'm a killer in the booth, raw truth for the ass, bro. No hands, bro, we'll play games. Gotta make a dash with last when I'm past, bro. I'ma make this last, though. Nothing left to prove. I invested, I possess the crown, and now I suggest you move. That joint smooth. That joint knock. That's that bang, that's that rock, you can't hang, I can't stop, I'm the range, then I cannot contain the membranes that dictate my sanity levels, I handle these devils in a way that can't stand to be happy, you was all about that bass, I'm like, damn, we need trouble, damn, you in trouble, the speakers blew your whole style to piles of rubble, death to mumbles, we a little hyped up, so trash talk, yeah, yeah. all right, 
right, Miss Lena Jackson going hard in the paint. Mm hmm. It's the name of that song live from Ray's room. That is. Uh, it was cool. She she had some flow. You know what I mean? <laughs> she, she uh, you know she 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 had some flow. Um, double you know doubling it up. You know what I mean with the rhymes. It was cool. Um. You know, the beat kind of stood out, not in a bad way. It was cool. It was like, you know, melodic and stuff like that. What was wrong with it? What was wrong with it? Um, well, you know, like like samples, I'm a, I'm, I'm a real, like, stickler for, like, when people are using samples, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's a, you know, with me being a musician, too, like, it's somewhat an easy way out. It's a cheap way. But if you do it really dope. Then it's like ah, you, you you're using uh, you're enhancing the sample as opposed to like the sample being the crutch. You what, know what I mean? Well, what, would you, what would you say to the people who say hip hop was built on the foundation of those samples? And yeah, but I feel like it's it's a uh, it's how you blend them. Right. You know what I mean? Like anybody can just like you know put this here, put this here, and put this there. But right. it's like how you dress it up to to make it like feel or make it, you know, different. I feel like, but it, it you know, I feel like that was a beat that I would have made when I was like, when I first started producing. Oh, so the Fisher Price. Uh. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. But it was, it was cool. It wasn't like, it's trash. Like it right, was right. just like, sounded like, very basic. Right. Oh, okay. I, That's the word. The, the yeah, mean green. The beat was slightly repetitive, but it also it gave uh, Miss Jackson uh, the tools that she need. You know, I, I like the way she. Uh, was aggressive on the track. I think that's a knock to most female rappers that I've ever listened to. Um, they're too pristine, too prissy on the track. You know, uh, that's why Nicki Minaj is the best because she she will eat the microphone and then still, you know, have her titties out. You know, like you know, they, she she wears both hats and everything. And you know, uh, if you look at the the female rappers who are successful or considered legends, you know, they were not afraid to, you know, be a guy on the mic. Um, yeah, the flow was dope. Uh, MC LMNOP305 said bland. Mm -hmm. uh, one time P said whack G beat. Whack the simple. Uh, needs variation. Beat is junky. I think, but I think she did her thing, and I'm also uh, interested yeah. to hear more from Lena Jackson. Mm -hmm. Probably representing uh, uh, Rally, North Carolina, like uh, not too far from Rhapsody's from. So uh, yeah, we'll take another. We'll take some more. Mm hmm. Um, yeah, Jonas Fernandez said exactly. All right, so yeah, good submission, good submission, Ming Green. Keep submitting, Major Green, I should say. Uh, next up, we got Dialect, and this name of the song is called Seduction. It's produced by Shadalak. Yeah, Where are these names from? Shadalak, Shadalak, something like that. Shadalak. All right, yeah, Shadalak. Video shot and edited by Bobby Midas, and it's a video. Let's get into it. Roll the clip, James. The litmus test. Yeah. Low life shit, nigga. And free Franco. I never let him play me for a sucker. I learned how to spot him from my mother. Another one of me you couldn't find. I'm one of one, the only kind of my type. It's no hype when I kick it out. Fucking take this world completely shifted. It's a trip when I begin to sit back. Think back to what it used to be. Started out five niggas, then went to three. Now it's two left hanging, making these songs that they sang and maintaining some balance between both the life and sustaining the entertainment life and all the shit that it came with. Lights and long nights were quite the picture we painted. Relationships tainted, nigga. And I ain't even made it. I'm still stressing my nine to five and my next bill payment. Like, can I live? Can I Something's live? gotta I give. Live. I'm hitting John. Told him that the world ain't ready for the side to be put on. Genocide when we perform. A young god in human form and they apply for every song they know when it's for sure about to change shit. I feel it coming deep in my bones. I developed the love Jones for eating beats up homes. And these niggas ain't got to feel me, but I'll make them all respected. Born with nothing when I passed up the millions in my debit, motherfucker. Taking all that shit with me. Fuck, I look like. Yeah! <laughs> Dialect Seduction. Produced by Shadowland. Alright, I had a sample on it, uh, Mr. Dixon. Yeah. What do you think? Um. 
man, I, it felt good. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It, it felt like a complete record. Um, it, nothing bothered me or stood out to where I were you know I could like follow and you know uh, the flow was dope. It, it, I mean, it, it he was rhyming over the beat good. You know what I mean? If the, the the feeling of it. Um, the lyrics were dope too. Right. I feel like you know he was telling a story basically. You know what I mean? That I was like waiting to see what was next. Um, so all in all, it, it, like yeah, it was a sample, but it just it wasn't choppy. You know what I mean? So right. I I dig it. I dig it. Uh, tag tag sixty six said if Ice Cube had joined Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> Now they're saying they look like Ice Cube. Oh, okay. Uh, MC305 said, perfect balance of lyrics and beats. Mm -hmm. Just said he had a dope flow. DJ Mr. Patterson said, song smooth as fuck. Um, Miguel Cruz has a lot of hand clap emojis. They really feeling this. Yeah, I think I think it, uh, dialect, you were very digestible. You know, uh, your lyrics are clear. Uh, you know, so... You know, hip hop heads and blunt heads can all, you know, come into a happy medium and enjoy the song. Um, Jonas uh, Fernandez says storytelling, and Daniel Vaughn says smooth flow. Though, yeah, I, yeah, it's definitely uh, I said really digestible, easy, easy listening, and you know, you can spit, you can rap, you know. So we definitely appreciate that over here. All right, that was a good so, submission. Yeah. All right, let's see see what your competition's like, Mr. Dialect. Next up, we got Sunray. Figure it out. Um, where are you from? Where are you from? Sunray Hip Hop. Representing London. All right. Uh-oh. Thaddeus, are you a big fan of any uh, Euro rappers? You know, you in the grime or London rappers? Like, like uh, Stormzy and all. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. mean, I haven't really... I haven't really checked them out like that. Right. I should though, you know, because the international wave right now is like, right. you know what I mean. Um, I mean, it's, it's so sur- surpassed like Toronto. You know, right. Toronto was like, oh, I'm from Toronto now it's like London. It's like Spain, and you know what I mean. You got these American artists doing, you know, records with foreign artists. So um, I haven't checked it up, checked them out enough to answer your question, but you know. So many artists, man. It's, it's a lot. But I will. All right. Well, we're about to see how this Londoner does across the pond. Going to start it at the 110 mark for you, Sun Ray. Thank you for that note. 120 mark. Um, yeah, again, like if you guys submit to the litmus test and you got a lengthy outro where you're talking or crying to your girl or whatever the <laughs> hell y'all be doing on the beginning of these intros, uh, yeah, let us know and uh, we'll start at the proper... Uh, so this is Sun Ray with Figure It Out off the Low Tide album. It's the litmus test. I gotta go. I gotta figure it out. And I'm still keeping this music my little secret. Cause I could be whoever I wanna be on the beat. It's like I'm a big shot riding around passing out great poupon. In real life can't look nobody in the face too long. Still trying to understand myself Why am I so insecure? Sometimes I can't stand myself Got a lot of shit that I'm still trying to fix about myself Like letting people walk on me And always put my girl first Never put my own self-respect on my goals first Maybe cause my father figure ain't my real father figures Or cause I got Judas by real friends that I started with it So I got my guard up thinking That's why I'm so shy and timid Except for when I'm on the mic, nobody can fuck with me Gold medal, you wear silver like cutlery I don't even have to ask how impressed are you How this brown boy out rapping the rest of you Awkward like you trapped in a vestibule Look at him go, he's racking, going Oakland, stepping, Oh, he's chefing, eating rappers like the Cheerio For breakfast, overstepping all of your confessions Shit on your suggestions, all I do is rap like I don't open presents All I do is write, so I got low attendance And they coming to me, gotta go and get it Oh, we kept a secret, always knew he had something special Deep in, this has to be the plan that God has for me And trust me, I would never commit blasphemy Nah, so I'm looking into the clouds And asking if he can send some more Listen this down, ayy Cause the more hurt me certainly They would agree I'm two of them seeds and spitting them out, ayy Yeah, I talk to her sometimes But it's kinda hard to understand it With my inner mouth, ayy If I don't make it, I'ma go out with a bang I ain't flickering out I gotta figure it out Yeah Sunray, figure it out Oh, wow What's that all about? You know, there was a time where Rapping fast, you know, double time You know, was only reserved for a select few Everybody couldn't do it now it seems to be like it's a requisite. Yeah, everybody's trying to do it. I mean, you need to figure it out. 
Yeah, figure it out. What'd you think? Um, um, I think the best part of the song was, you know, his bars, like him rapping, but, you know, that's only so much of a record. It's, um, like the vocal quality or the recording too. I can, you know, it wasn't as clear, you know, and you don't have to be in a, you know, $100,000, million dollar studio, you know, but I could tell like the recording quality was, the vocal was like recorded in the bedroom or closet it, or something like that. his mother's basement? Yeah, something like that. It was like dance or, you know, the echo or something like that. And then, you know, uh, one reason like, which makes Jay-Z so great, they always say he knew how to pick the best beats. You know what I mean? I don't know if this is your production or your friends or something like that, but you know, that can't, help you or make or break you in in the production uh yeah the, the production wasn't as strong as the lyrics and the bars and you know the rapping and stuff like that um so I, I think he has to you know it wasn't bad but I think he has to figure it out even his sound because like the beat was started kind of like Bryson Tiller-ish kind of and then it just like you know Transitioned into something else. It was right. a little confusing, but yeah, I think uh, the litness test community is confused as well. Sunray, uh, MC three hundred five says Starbucks rap. King Chav, uh, former uh, litness test winner, he said it's solid. Not really my cup of tea. My cup of tea, mate. Cheerio. Uh, DJ Mac, Mr. Patterson said nope. Uh, and one time P said so many styles. Yeah, I, I definitely. Um, I mean. You know, records are like individual alleles, you know, seed, sun ray. You know, you don't have to, uh, this isn't American Idol, you know, this litmus test, you know, you don't have to show us all your tricks in one song, in one record, you know. Um, and I think even even a deeper dive, you know, your listener will appreciate, you know, if they set in for a certain vibe and, and mood, you know, I mean, I think there's, I can think of a couple of famous songs. Uh, most deaf rock and roll on black on both sides, you know, the the very, you know, three fourths of the song is great. And then when he gets all fish and, you know, slam dance and, you know, I think it just ruins the song. Uh, Kanye West's Runaway, you know, with eight extra minutes of distortion and noise, you know, it just, you know, can ruin the track, you know. So, you know, you don't have to uh, overdo it. Um, one time Pete said it's out of control. And Kush Gully said he needs to figure it out. Well, figure it out. well, that's the name of the song. But we appreciate the submission. Keep submitting, man. Especially mm -hmm. from uh, London, and you have a very uh, indistinguishable accent. You know, I think that gives you uh, an edge over your competition because uh, you know your Euro European artists have a hard time breaking over here. All right, who we got next? We got Pat Jr. How you feeling, Thaddeus? I'm good. I'm good. I'm having a good time. How about you? Love so, it. It's some good, good yeah, music. It is. It is. I like, like, I like this. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Tell a friend to tell a friend, especially if they're a hot MC. Uh, Pat Jr., The Ride featuring Jody, produced by Anthony Cruz. Where are you guys from? Oh, Rally Again. North Carolina. Stand up. Where Petey Pablo at? What y'all do to him? Hmm? Hmm? Like the new Jimmy Hoffa? Um, all right, yeah, this is the ride featuring Jody, produced by Anthony Cruz. Nothing less to say, but push play. Little clip, James. Still at this test. Yeah, yeah. Duma, 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 city. Young Jody Like what they show the love I got it down huh. Like what they pulling tug as I ride away Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, where they see my flaws and feel some kind of way Riding, riding round, thinking about life and all the posing Seeing a lot of fakes capture real, but they said he posing I try to model what's proper so the runway is floating Never take, never take up above the madness I'm past it, I'm prone to ghosting Drone with focus, and I can see the real love for me And I can feel the nudge underneath To supersede my own ghost rage But I can see those who cover the Altitude in the other leaps The distance really ain't much to me And plus you ain't seen my tundra deep So don't come for chief Out of my way, you ain't got nothing to say You already said it to them And they on the list Of those who opposing this kin But melanin don't make us friends Or similar goals I really just want you to know no. My reading is sharp on the low no. Paragraph no. no I read you some pages ago Just so you know how it go 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 Ride 
Riding through the city as a concert play. Concert play. Like, will they show the love if I die today? Like, will they pull and tug as I ride away? Or will they see my flaws and feel some kind of way? I'm trading in my demons for yeah. a All right, Pat Jr. The ride featuring Jody, produced by Anthony Cruz. Mm -hmm. Give us your thoughts, Mr. Dixon. Um, beat was cool. Um, sounds contemporary, like you know what's kind of like out today. Um, sound current. Uh, I don't know if the producer. I know sometimes the producer is the engineer too, but the engineer was like dope, like with all the effects and the the you know the mix of it the different voices and the delays that's what you know made it interesting um i think i listened to the track more than the the, the vocals but the vocals were cool it just didn't it didn't grab me it didn't like really like stand they, out and grab me. they are going in on mr pat jr calling him all types of kendrick clones oh man uh <laughs> Antoine Mack said Kendrick's nephew. Daniel Vaughn said bad Kendrick. And he said swimming pools if it drowned. Yikes. Uh, cool side said uh, real Kendrick vibe. And Miguel mm -hmm. Cruz said let's not and say that we did. Um, yeah, this Pat Jr., this record was very um, uh, deliberate. You know, didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, you know, like it felt like there was a crescendo build up and then, you know, it just kind of stayed flat, you know, kind of like a 2 a.m. ride, taxi ride where you're going nowhere. You just tell the guy to drive or maybe an Uber driver with a Sony phone. I don't know. Uh, it just just never really got off the ground for me. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, there's definitely um, definitely some skill there. But, you know, potential. This, right. But this this record wasn't it. So, uh, but thank you for your submission, my good sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. Next up, we got Alio Barquin, an attempt at focus, produced by False Ego. Interesting name. Where are you from? Uh, he is from Miami. Alio Barquin. Uh, this is off the Health Pack Volume Number One, Numero Uno, Miami. Okay, I see what you did there. A little Spanglish popping off. Um, one second here. All right. Let's get this loaded up. Alio Barquin, an attempt at focus produced by False Ego. Fragrance of farewell. Yeah. I don't fucking a steady attempt at focus. Hope you know this. Flowing with the flow and the flow switch. Everybody else got a cold trick. What's up your sleeve? I believe I believe in nothing. All these girls looking around from the back room, they trying to be cuffing. Oh, Bob, I'm a ain't smoke. about the shit, ain't with the shit, and ain't smell like shit. Talk about number two with the lead in it. Back, I'm talking about a pencil with your head in it. I've been, I ain't living my life that right. That shit ain't feel that simple. I just live it for the night. Bitches wanna be nimble, put it in the back of the matrix. What pill, bitch, have you taken? Talking on the pavement, you slurring, they saying. These words, what they heard, I don't know what they talk about. It's just word of mouth. I know they're stuck and they live in doubt. But why you proud? Bob, I'm a smoke. Steady back motion, I'm a cop. Oh, Bob, hey. I'm a smoke. Smoke a couple doobies, blow gas in your Bob, face. Get a bag of the matrix in your mind, in your face. In your face. And the stars just hope that they align. Steady wrist work on a beat. Try to feel me, follow me. In fact, don't follow me. That's hollow street. I'm a smoke. Heating up, bitch. You know that I eat. I don't write shit. Take it past that shit like six feet deep. Yeah. All right. Alio Bar Quinn. An attempt at focus produced by a false ego. Mm -hmm. Take it away, Thaddeus. Beat was cool. I wish I would have found the sample first. That was a dope sample, like, you know. They were, they were uh, using everything these days, so <laughs> I don't think uh, 
that should definitely uh, quell your quest to <laughs> improve on it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the beat was cool. Everybody Love Leo Park win. <laughs> I mean, um, he's got Papa the Rapper on uh, his artwork. Remember that Nintendo game? Anybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't even see it. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't like impressed. You know what I mean? It was like it was just there. Huh? It was yeah. It was like another you know uh, another rapper and, and you know that's no not no shot no shade. You know what I mean? It's yes, just I think Cool Side hit it on the head. Uh, doesn't seem to have a goal. Mm. And Brian, find, you gotta Brian, find your voice. Right. Yeah. It was the track just kind of trudged along mm-hmm. uh, in a nice medium happy place. You know, it was like a sixty eight degree day in spring. Uh, not really complaining, but at the same time, you're really not bragging about it either. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brian Watson went with the slander. He said, ab, no soul. Yeah. And DJ Mr. Patterson said, attempt at a good song. Mm-hmm. And I think it's a good point, Mr. Patterson. Shout out to you in the UK. Um, that's a really good point, Elio. Um, I think you knew what it takes to make a good sonic aesthetic, but, you know, there wasn't, uh, you didn't put... I mean, I, I hate to say it, you didn't put the soul into it, you know, there was nothing, I didn't feel you in this particular record, you know, it was so easy to date, you know, doze off and daydream about, you know, Christmas time or my Snoop Dogg sweater or <laughs> uh, San Antonio uh, Spurs hoodie, you know, you can get props on that too. I'm a Spurs fan, go, go Timmy D and them boys. Yeah. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is back. Um, yeah, see? We're talking about your song. And I got so <laughs> motherfucking off track. That's how uh, that's how middling it was. Uh, so not horrible, but yeah. Let's see here. But we appreciate the submission. Litmus test. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Next up, it's a J French. Different ain't different. And then what is it? That is. If different ain't different, then what is it? I don't know. That's a trick question I don't, or mm-hmm. statement. I don't know. Just trying to do to us. Sound like what my girlfriend would say, and I'd be like, <laughs> "Yo, different ain't different." It's <laughs> like we go around. Like, just leave. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Oh, okay. Uh, so I guess you want me to click on your respect link, respect magazine premiere to see what the song's about. Different ain't different. Uh, Jay French, uh, he says, okay, he gives us an answer. Different ain't different. It's about artistry not being respected as it should be. It's about artists, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Yeah, you, you went off into a tangent right there. Let's hope your song doesn't do like the last one. Jay French, diff- different ain't different. It's the litmus test. Roll the clip, James. Monster Elements on deck. At what point does one have to embody creativity? Longevity, classical material. I mean, this is classic shit. No more. Dreadlocks ain't deep no more. Everybody wanna look smart, cause looking stupid ain't cheap no more. Yeah, where's the guy that wore the first chain? Where's the guy that wore the first J's? Made the struggle look beautiful. That's why you wanna struggle in the first place. Yeah, outside is where the hardest was. Inside is where the smartest was. Back of the class where the artist was. Everybody does what the artist does. Yeah, different ain't different no more. Different ain't different no more. Different ain't different no more. Yeah. Everybody does what the artist does You don't get it, but the artist does You don't listen when the thoughts above The cost of love is too expensive It costs your blood It's lost because the facts remain We all so different, but we act the same Social standards attached to fame Attached to power, attached to fame Same way thug is attached yeah. to Yeah, say French So <laughs> that is Different ain't different no more Uh, I mean, I get what he's trying to say He's, I feel like he's disgruntled with you know what I mean? With you know, I don't know if it's a personal thing. It sounds like it's more of a personal thing, you know. 
Um, I don't know how it could be for artists, you know what I mean? Uh, but this one, I don't know. And then with the production, real quick, like I don't know what the 808s were doing. I, it would always been better with the sample and just the drums with no 808s because they were like lost. I don't, they weren't really. So it wasn't really cohesive. It wasn't like cohesive. It was so if you were producing like, a track, you would have. Just say we don't need any 808s on this. Yeah, I mean, it, it, 808s, it could have been used, but it wasn't used in the right way. It was like different or not. It didn't fit the rest. It was it was weird, you know. While the song was playing, DJ Mr. Patterson said, roll the next clip, James. <laughs> uh, and King Chad made a good point. He said, so different is the same? Yeah, it just... I agree. I, I like that point. Uh, disgruntled. I mean, and what, when three seconds into the song, you know, after you know you got to rap, and then I saw understood what the song was about. How many of these songs worked? How many songs where you guys stand on a, a soapbox or a pedestal, and you know you throw slide disses at the Migos or little whoever or French whoever, you know Montana whoever, you know this. Does that ever work? Has has that ever, has fans who like a uh, certain type of trap music, or even sometimes they like bullshit rap? Have they ever said, "Wow, this is so much better"? Why? Why? How come I'm not listening to real hip hop? You know, everybody has to be more strategic about their approach. Yep. Um, you know what they want to convey. You know, uh, getting everybody on your bandwagon is easier said than done. Yep. Um, and Shane Thompson thinks it was dope. So sort of dope. Um, and Daniel Vaughn said, I like the beat, sort of. Maybe he liked it more if there was no 808s. Yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. really right. Jay French, thank you for your submission. We appreciate it. Next up, we got Just. This is Just and DJ O. And that is the name of the song. They're going on some tag team guru and premiere shit. Mm-hmm. Produced by Lupe, Lupe Productions. Lupe Productions. Just and DJ O. Performed by Justin DJO. Go figure. Figured that. All right. Let's get Let's it. Get it. It's the litmus test. Roll the clip, James. Now watch how you kill a real song, boy. They tried to tell me I wasn't gifted I started spitting, had to show them this was God given They tried to box me in when I made myself present So many different flows, they all had their own reference Check it See, first they called me Badwell Cause I had braids like him And then they called me Cool J I rocked the stage like him But I wanted to spit these bars like Jay and Wayne and Ye And Nas with one mic but be nothing like them I knew that I could be better than both the Carters Yeah, I'm coming from the West But I'm keeping up with the Joneses And one is on his business tip Another just don't give a shit Another thinks he's God I'm thankful that the last one is still mad at See, I ain't come here to imitate or emulate I pay respect to the greats But they bleed like I do So I'ma push my name just to see how far I go Oh, yeah, they call me J-U-S, and that's D-J-O oh, Yeah, they call me J-U-S, and that's D-J-O oh, 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 oh. Yeah, they call me J-U-S, and that's D-J-O oh, Yeah, they call me J-U-S, and that's D-J-O Oh, 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 yeah, they call me J-U-S, and that's DJ. Oh. I'm from the city where it never snows, it only rains a little bit. Sunny skies and all kind of women, so most of kids mix. Mexican food on a day because we got the best here. So tell Trump's bitch ass to stay the fuck around here. Heard we got the best smoke, but I ain't gonna ever know. Seven days a week, you can catch me at the 24. Fit life, I tell you yeah. what that be like. My Just body. DJ, oh, Lupe, Lupe Productions. Lupe. Lupe. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right, that was a nice jolt of energy. Five hour uh-huh. shot. All right, right, right. 90 right. seconds. That is what you think. Uh, it was cool. It was definitely, I feel like, one of the um, better ones of today. Um, um, I don't know. It was, it was. It's like stuck in between something that's kind of current or like, but then like older. I, I can almost tell like. He's like wrong, like 28, 29. Like I'm I'm not gonna tell my age anyway. But <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's you know, some of the best, you know, rappers or producers, they like 
they know how to reinvent themselves to make them sound right. current or f- find their voice or you know what I mean. So and it's like he's in that, you know, you know, saying like you know I want to uh, sound like Jay or or you know those lyrics in the beginning. You know what I mean? It's like, but it was cool. It was it was dope. It was definitely one of the better ones of today. But I wouldn't be like, damn, it's that shit. I gotta I gotta hear it again. You right. know what I mean? It's right. cool. Uh, King Isidore the Thinker. He said uh, best song so far I've heard. Uh, I, w- I would agree, but uh, Monolithic Fishmonger X, uh, I think he nailed my sentiment with his comment on YouTube. He said, Hardcore, subject matter all over the place. Again, not much substance. Beat dope, though. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. yeah, I think you definitely attacked the, uh, the track just, you know, with nice vigor, precision. You know, the bars were, uh, you know, they ended nice and sharp and everything, and, you know, the beat was definitely hard. You know, some. That, that's that's the type of hip hop I'm talking. You know, if you want to uh, be rooted in some type of boom bap or some type of '90s sensibility, I think this is on the cutting edge of what it needs to sound like today. Uh, but yeah, the lyrics were all over the place. You know, went from "fuck Donald Trump" to "you know, girl come oh, wow. over here." Yeah, yeah, it was LL Cool J. Um, yeah, so the, you know, the lyrics, the song, the song structure could need some work, but uh, as far as the energy and the flow and the, the production, it was right on par. I agree. I agree. Good no job. Sure. Ryan Watson said Frisbee uh, and Thaddy and uh, Justice giving me props for guessing his age. He said he's 30. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, just a, just a sentiment of what you were rapping about. You know, it, it, it wasn't as disgruntled as Jay French, but, you know, you obviously. Try to give him a couple years. I ain't want to put him in a 30 <laughs> box, but, you know. <laughs> no, it's, it's dope. Um, who else? What else you guys got to say about the record? Uh. Vaden Patton said, please play Risk. That's up to Dante, the executive producer, Mr. Patton. Uh, <laughs> and Moraine, uh, M- Mutson- how do you say his name? Where? I don't know. Mr. I don't Bakri. Know Moraine. You guys are just shouting out y'all songs now. Hey, 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 we got a little, we got, you know, we take, there's a lot of submissions. We take them as they come. Um, who's up next? Vonte, get like me. Want to get like uh, Vonte? That is? Uh, no, because no. Uh, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> well, we'll see after we hear the song. Where are you from, Vonte? Uh, he's from Maryland. Got a nice pick of a, is that a caddy. Is that the men in black caddy? You know, you hop in and the, you know, the, the guy folds in the chair, uh, mm-hmm. decoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the litmus test. Get like me, Vonte. It's the latest off his EP, Young Men, Adi- Young Men of Ambition. Hold a clip, James. To the left, left, niggas to my right. right. Tipsy on that liquor, gon' be one hell of a night. night. Fucked up on Patron, Trump. just might take her home. home. But she got a message from her nigga on her phone. Hoes in every city, city. pray the Lord forgive me. Get me. Right hand on the Bible, hey man, can I get a witness? Hey. Her name Angelina, Nina. tell me how you seen her. Seen her. Man, that house so thirsty, I just call her Aquafina. Like, Who's that? Keeping in that old black caddy. Riding through the city, yo, these bitches call me daddy. Creeping in that old black caddy, riding through the city, all these bitches call me daddy. I be that V to that O N T A E. I be that V to that O N T A E. Huh. Why all these niggas hate and tell them kid like me? Man, why all these niggas hate and tell them kid like look. me? Out here riding dirty, dirty. almost 11 30. Honey, don't the gas, music loud while you're nervous. nervous. Me and my amigo, can't fuck with the ego. ego. Smoking that illegal got me higher than the ego. Oh shit, that's the popo. Fuck around with no broco. broco. Make your hoe go loco, now she in love with the coco. Her name Angelina, Lena. tell me how you seen her. Seen her. Man, that hoe so thirsty, I just call her Aquafina. Who's like, that? Keeping in that dope black caddy. Riding to the city, yo, these bitches call me daddy. Yeah. Well, I say, get like me. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll start. Um, you know, definitely had. Uh, I've seen a lot of people saying too short. Uh, definitely a 
new age too short flow mm-hmm. shout out to my uncle short um you know, I, I, it's glass half full for me. You know, the, obviously the lyrics left a little bit to be desired, even when you was hitting them pockets and, you know, giving your own ad-libs with the rhymes and everything. You know, there was nothing that really illuminated with me, but as a total package, it's definitely like hopping the car, ride, you know, riding slow, two miles an hour, so everybody see you type music. So, uh, you know, I appreciate the vibes, Vontae. Mm-hmm. That is yeah, interesting. I, I totally agree with you. Like, it had a vibe, and it was its own thing, but the... The thing I commend him most for is uh, uh, committing to his sound and what it was and the style. It wasn't like, I'm Jay-Z rapping out fast, right. or, you know, not Jay-Z, but, you know, somebody right. rapping fast, and I'm slow, and he committed the whole record to what it was. So, you know, I, I, you could almost, you could buy into it a little bit. The homie Big O said, if Sage the Gemini was from Texas, that's a good, that's a good analogy. Just uh, gives props to the song. He said overall it was dope. Uh, Derek Martin is laughing so hard his stomach hurts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and Seb, Seba Hara said, I thought Crunk was dead. That ain't Crunk. That ain't Crunk. That's pimp music right there. Man, if, if he could get like Gucci yeah. on this, you know, it, it made me, you know, feel like that. What's that song Gucci had? Uh... She's a very freaky girl. That it kind oh, yeah, of like yeah, yeah. made you feel like that. Okay. Daniel Bond said, "How good was Luda when you hear this type of new old thing?" I mean, Luda. They say, and when I say, you know, some of the bars be left to desire for some of these submissions. Listen to a Ludacris song, any song from '98 to 2005. Ludacris is ridiculous it's with the true. words. Yeah. You know, so he'll he'll have beats like that, but you know, his every line, every lyric was outlined, comical or ooh. Yeah. yeah, Ludacris is one of the goats. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, we appreciate the submission. Nice little ride music. We got time for one more. We got time for one more, clip, James, Dante. All right. Uh, rolling, who's the lucky contestant? Ethan oh, Payton. Shoot. Ethan Payton. Roll with it. Produced by Charlie Cooks. Ethan Payton, roll with it. Produced by Charlie Cooks. Where are you from, Ethan? He's from the United States. Anybody else in the house from the United States? USA in the building? Anybody? There you go. Hey, put you, uh, make sure you guys update y'all's bios. Make sure we know exactly what you're representing, what your movement, you know, where the song is going to be at or what uh, album it's from. You know, it's very important in case someone likes your music. So we're about to see how we like Ethan Payton. Roll with it. Produced by Charlie Cooks. It's the litmus test. <coughs> Shawty making conversation, don't wanna take it slow She hit the floor, said come find me Like in the way that she wind it, I gotta get behind it, no The way that she drop it and go, gotta make a mind, yeah Said if you got it, gon' show it Girl, let me see you roll with it Make a rich man, make a rich man go broke with it, girl Let me see you roll with it Trying to get close to you Summer days in the way you move Girl, let me see you roll with it Make a rich man, make a rich man Go broke with it, girl Let me see you roll with it Ooh, I'm trying to get close to you Summer days in the way you move First to flex on the new sweat See how you move, got me thinking about you next to me Said she got a man from the West Belize for the night, she won't confess that she's so tired of his thighs Coming home late from work all the time So she came with her girls for the night And lucky for me, she's saying I'm a type So she back it up, shake it and drop it down low Popping like she quaking the flow Got everybody coming through the door Just to see how she know what to do And she go and she got me sprung I become under a spell on me Time will tell if she's coming home with me Hopefully get crazy Yeah Pop record right switch in on us. That was Ethan Payton with what's the name of your song? Roll with it, produced by Charlie Cooks. 
Huh? You you delve into the pop realm, you know. You and Megan Trainer, you guys mm-hmm. used to play four uh, four square on the playground together. <laughs> 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 uh, it was cool. He had a nice voice. You know what I mean? Was you know like uh, he, he could sing a little bit. Um, the track was cool. It it compliment they complimented each other. It wasn't like you know it it was cool. Um, roll with it. Yeah. Um. Sebra Har said, "This ain't hip hop. I didn't come here for radio. <laughs> I'm not sure you know what hip hop well, is. Yeah, hip hop, right? But I'm not sure you know what hip hop is. Calling the last song Crunk. Um, Big O said, you know, real uh, Majid Jordan uh, feel with the dance hall. Yeah, it was cool. Uh, Brian Watson said Drake will be stealing this. <laughs> stealing. <laughs> Drake on to something else. Yeah, I think so. He gonna he. I don't know what he gonna come out with, but." Keep, keep teasing some MF Doom shit. Mm. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, we got time for one more. Uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna let you guys go out uh, on some non hip hop, even though that was a cool track, Ethan. Uh, thank you for your submission. Um, we got one more. Face face, we awesome. This is the debut single from our forthcoming album. Mmm. All shot in one take by Celestial Pictures. All right, so. Face face, we awesome. And it's a video. Roll the clip, James. Sucker MC, say this, say that, but they not fucking with me. I fucks up a beat. Spit shit, kill tracks. The leak is the release. I fuck with the streets. You perceive me to pass, my black ass ain't bound by belief. I'm black, I'm back, I'm bound to repeat. Face face for president 2020. My band is better than your band, cause my bandmate makes better beats than your mates can. Straight cake fam, where's a plate man? Nom nom, shit slap harder than a spade's hand. Bang this to the tape jam. Good luck, it's digital. Honestly, I hope it creates spam. Face face plant into the rhymes, let's dive into my lines. I plan to make hate glam. Weird as my beard, I fear I've been cleared for the fear shit I pierced this century. Coercing mentally, imposing physically, sipping on split screen with sentient beings, flipping twin fingerings, the sentiments lingering, been sent to be leaguer, those meager and being me from sea to the shining, I see that me seeing isn't the scene, thank you for smoking, sucker MC say this, say that, but they not fucking with me, I fucks up a beat spit shit, kill tracks, the leak is the release, I fuck with the streets, you perceive me to pass my black ass ain't bound by belief I'm black, I'm back, I'm bound to repeat face face for president 2020 Verse two for the first few, I prefer two, so let's pick up this pace. I'm gonna support yeah. y'all like the fourth one. I'm falling the place. I'm like all Some the song that he did. Uh, mm-hmm. Name of again. We, we awesome. awesome. Yeah. All right. I mean, I know I'm here to make comments. I was gonna say I don't. I have no comment. Um, just, I was gonna let you just give it all, but yeah. I'm. I have one comment. This would do well. And like at a college university, like in Nebraska, it'd be like crazy. You know what I mean? Like I could see like, you know what I mean? Like all the kids at a party, like singing all the lyrics and going crazy. But um, other than that, I don't have any comments. <laughs> uh, okay, let's talk. Uh, <laughs> <'Cause I don't... laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give you guys a, a real subjective uh, hip hop opinion. You know, there's there's a difference between quality and a difference between preferences, you know. So, uh, we're talking preferences, you know, I've always acknowledged that, you know, the intentional nerdy, uh, you know, overthought, overwrought, uh, you know, hip hop fan base. You know, that being said, there's a reason why that shit never pops off because, you know, a lot of times it comes off as corny or intentional or contrived. Um, you know, that one didn't move me, uh, you know, Lyrics were, you know, all over the place, re- really tangible, um, you know, just, just flat out boring. The video was cool, you know, you know, house party, a lot of shenanigans going on and everything, but, you know, uh, they're calling it frat rap, Asher Roth, mm-hmm. Chitty Bang, yeah, but... But not you know, as good. No, no, there's, yeah. th- those, those acts, those particular acts have extra layers of melody that this particular one didn't, um, yeah. 
Um, so as a prep from a prep standpoint, obviously not my cup of tea, but you know, just from an overall quality standpoint, it was just so so. Um, yeah, Daniel Vaughn said Childish Gambino. Yeah, Childish Gambino was making these type of songs before he came out. You know, he uh, got a little better. Uh, Antoine Mack, good comparison. Baby Dale, Dale the Funky Homo Sapien. Yeah, I mean, he owns that type of lane and everything. And that's where Face Face gets in where he's fit in. But uh, yeah, eh, uh, you know, so it's time. Let's get a winner. Thank you guys for oh, everybody submitting. Yeah. Uh, let me go through it. Who was the ones who. Uh, Justin DJO, you yep. know, with the New Age Boom Bap. That, um, that was one, and then I think it was Seduction. Di- yeah, Dialect of Seduction. Yeah, I think between them two. And then uh, Major Green with Lena Jackson, the female. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who we got? <laughs> you, don't need Man, yeah, you, you were the guest of honor. Man. The litmus test guest. Okay, right. can we, how much time we got? Can we, like, maybe choose two out of three and then... Shoot, okay, who's getting, who's getting knocked off? Ah, uh, got dialect, Lena Jackson, and uh, Just. I'm I, I'm I'm looking at overall product. You know what I mean? Um, not just bars and not just the beat. Um, I, I would say I would take um, Lena off. Okay. Or not her, in, you know, particular, but her song, um, that record. Um, because I don't think it was just uh, as whole as um, Seduction right. and um, the other record for uh, Just yeah, mm-hmm. Just yeah. Times DJ. Yeah. Um, okay. So we got it between those two. Dialect or Just? Who you got? Oh, damn, man. Why are you leaving? Because <laughs> you're the distinguished guest or the music man. Uh, you're the band leader. Uh, you tell Bryson Tiller what key to play and sing <laughs> in. <laughs> you own your own studio in Los Angeles. Let's go. Thanks, man. Um, I know what you like better, though. You like Justin DJ. Oh, I'm going. I'm gonna, whatever you say, I'm going to agree with you. <laughs> um, I mean, <clears throat> I like, I like, I don't know. I don't know if it's the mood I'm in. I don't know. You know, a lot of things can sway you. I like seduction. Okay. I'm that. I'm leaning towards that. But what if like, what if they voted between seduction and? What do you guys think? Since to, since this motherfucker can't make up his mind. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you guys think? Who won? Uh, DJ Mr. Patterson said just got second place for me. Uh, Starbucks rap. Uh, third is Ethan. Which one is Ethan? Oh, Kirsten, that's uh, the pop dude. Yeah, yeah, he's in there. I'm not mad at that. Uh, seduction for the win. Runner-up, Lena. Yeah, Seduction is a uh, dialect. Yeah, dialect. Dialect, Ooh. yeah. Yeah, you got it, dialect. <laughs> Congratulations. Like, dialect. I, I think, you know, I think it was a hard decision because Just had more dynamics. Yeah. Dialect had a more smoother package. You know, the lyrics for Just a Song were a little bit all over the place, but it was definitely uh, listenable uh, and energetic. Um, shout out to uh, Tag Tag. He said, "In my opinion, Mr. Trent Clark can go diddly dongaroo himself and let Black Ned Fanders rap." No, what? Right, we, he's talking about the last dude. No Black Ned Fanders uh, in any hip hop DX organization. I am your EICTC, and we're we're keeping it in the middle, 180 degrees. Can't go too far. Can't go too left. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Shout out to you, Dialect. Uh, your song will be up. On uh, hiphopdx.com. Salute for you winning the witness, uh, litmus test. And then salute to all everybody who submitted. Keep yeah. going strong, whether you impressed us or you didn't. Keep going strong, take your career seriously, and we want to see you guys on top. Yeah. As always, I'm your EICTC, Trent Clark. Follow me at It's Me TC15. Where can we find you at? At Thaddeus Dixon. That's my, my IG, my Twitter, uh, Facebook, Thaddeus Dixon. Channel or something like that, um, <laughs> but yeah, Daddy's Dixon. Just Google it; all this stuff will come up. But yo, congratulations to everybody. Keep going. Don't let him or me deter you from you know what I mean. Whatever. You should like, let me deter you a little bit. I know what I'm talking about. You should listen to him. You know? That's what we here for the help. So yeah, dope stuff. Turn up. We appreciate you guys submitting in. Check. Oh yeah, check out uh, the year-end awards. Hip Hop DX's year-end awards is in full effect. 
all over hiphopdx.com. Uh, yeah, we uh, that shit is lit. It is. We're giving away awards like like candy. Check out check us out on Instagram too. Everything hiphopdx. We on. Thank you, James. Thank you, Dante. See you guys next week.